What's up YouTube, Blood Rampage here, bringing you an interesting game that I got the opportunity to play, brought to us by Tiny Build Games and Cradle Games, called Hellpoint. This game just released the 30th of July, last month, right now, depending on when you're watching this. Um, it's compatible with PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Uh, apparently it can run on Mac and Linux as well. Um... There is a free sequel chapter that you could try if you wanted to uh, through the Steam website or store. Uh, I could throw the link in the description for that. Uh, about the game, Hellpoint is a dark and challenging action RPG set in a heavily, uh, heavily atmospheric sci-fi universe where the line between science and uh, occult, uh, occultism, occultism? I don't know, sorry, I can't say it, is blurred. Once a pinnacle of human achievement, the Irinovo space station has fallen. Its ruins are now overrun by cruel inter er, interdimensional entities acting as puppets of the uh, malevolent, malevolent. I don't know. Mal malevolent. I don't know. I'll try. Cosmic gods. <laughs> you have been created by the author. Uh, organically printed on Irinovo and sent on a mission to find out unholy series or find out the unholy series of events that led to the catastrophic incident known as the merge. Irinovo is a massive interconnected world full of mysteries, hidden passages and secrets within secrets, all for you to explore in any order you like. More dread and shivers await you as you travel deeper into the darkest corner of the forsaken colony. Dozens of melee and range weapons and armor p uh, pieces to suit your playstyle. Every weapon has unique special abilities that unlock the more you fight with them. A fascinating new sci-fi universe reminiscent of classic sci-fi movies set in the aftermath of a massive quantum cataclysm uh, and complete with a deep lore and goosebump inducing soundtrack. The space station orbits in real time around an ominous black hole that triggers various dynamic events, such as boss appearances, horde assaults, as well as a modified enemy uh, as modified enemy stats and positions. If you are struggling, ask a friend to press start to join in couch co-op sessions, or call for assistance online. The entire game can be completed uninterrupted in co-op. The loot is shared, and the experience of local player two is saved and not watered down. So something we haven't really had too much of here recently. Uh, don't get a lot of couch co-op games. The vibe I kind of get from this is like a Dark Souls-esque style game, just the way it plays. I mean, heavy emphasis on timing, dodges, rolling, stuff like that. Um, I never quite figured out exactly what the handprints are meant for, but... I'm sure they serve some sort of purpose for codes. Almost like uh, the Talos Principle style stuff. Um, yeah, any white cubes on the ground you see are weapons. So I had a pipe that I at least got. These breaches, I think those are... I can't remember off the top of my head because I'm recording this after. So you could... Uh, upgrade your character and everything through this once you have certain objects and whatnot. Um, for the little bit that I've played of this so far, I found it relatively interesting. Uh, not entirely my style of gameplay, because I suck at usually anything like this. But it still is kind of fun. A uh, little clunky on the controls. Uh, sometimes a little tough to move a little bit. He's just a little weird. But uh, other than that, it's relatively smooth. Uh, a couple, couple frame rate issues as well. But uh, I'm sure once it gets in the swing of things, people start reporting little bugs and junk like that. It might improve with some updates. But still a great game to check out. I believe the price point right now is like 35 or something for it, which I think I think this game's well worth it. Um, yeah, there's not, there's just not a ton more I have to say about it. Combat stays relatively easy. Uh, you know, I said Dark Souls earlier. It puts me more in the mind of, like, Surge. Something like that, actually. I know, I know it's similar in some aspects, but... 
Still, I mean, it reminds me more of Surge. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you go and check out their game. And if you are interested, uh, I will have a link in the description that if you wanted to get it for PC, uh, you can use my link and purchase it. It will help me out if you would do that. Uh, it takes you to Green Man Gaming, allows you to buy it for your PC, Mac, and have it go through Steam. Um, I would really appreciate it if you use my link for it if you were interested. It just helps me out. Um, I want to thank you all again for watching this video. Thank you again to Tiny Build and Cradle Games for giving me the opportunity to play this. Still a few minutes of gameplay left. You guys are more than welcome to watch, and we'll see you guys next time.